much-anticipated NASA rocket bound for the moon has postponed its launch today because of technical problems. The Artemis spaceflight was due to blast off from NASA's HQ in Florida. It's not expected to launch now until Friday at the earliest. Well, standing by for us in Washington is our correspondent there, Ketavan Gorgistani. She joins me now. Ketavan, do we know what went wrong? Well, it seems at least that we know uh, the location of uh, the issue, and that is one of the four engines uh, that had a problem uh, there. It was engine uh, number three, uh, something uh, with the temperature not being uh, right for uh, the launch. The three other engines functioning completely properly, but that third engine was the one that was uh, causing some trouble, and uh, the uh, NASA technicians trying to troubleshoot uh, that uh, that engine number three, but they basically uh, were given a two-hour launch window that started at 8.33 a.m. local time here uh, on the east coast of the United States, and they believe that within that two-hour launch, they just didn't have time uh, to fix uh, the problem, which is why uh, they decided uh, to scrap uh, this attempt at uh, the launch. It has to be said that uh, NASA scientists and uh, technicians managed to to troubleshoot to, through three problems uh, before uh, this fourth one eventually uh, scrapped uh, the launch. Uh, there was a problem first with uh, the weather. There was some lightning, which uh, sort of delayed uh, the fueling process, but they managed to get back on track in time uh, for uh, the launch window. Then uh, there was one initial leak with a, a pressure a spike during the filling of the liquid hydrogen, which is very important for that launch. That also they managed to uh, work through. And finally, they find, found an addition of a frost line uh, somewhere uh, on the rocket. That too, they managed to fix, but this fourth one, uh, they were unable. We're expecting uh, a, a press briefing from NASA to really uh, specify what exactly is happening, what exactly the problem is. We'll have that uh, later on uh, today. As you said, the next launch window uh, will be uh, Friday, uh, Friday, September 2nd. It will start at 12.48 p.m. Uh, local time, about a two-hour uh, launch window. And if that doesn't work, then there is a third uh, date, which will be uh, Monday, uh, September 5th. But of course, uh, there uh, at Cape Canaveral, everyone hoping that on Friday will be actually uh, the right day to launch. And Ketavan, clearly this delay will be a major disappointment for those scientists at NASA, but it's a political disappointment as well, isn't it? Because this rocket launch was set to be a big deal for the United States, that highlighted by the fact that Kamala Harris is in Florida and she was scheduled to speak today. Yes, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, the vice president and also uh, the chair of uh, the National uh, Space Council. She is uh, currently uh, there at Cape Canaveral. She was uh, there with her husband, uh, Doug Emhoff, and they were uh, supposed to be watching uh, that launch from the Kennedy uh, Space uh, Center. After that, she was supposed to go on a tour of uh, some of the project, the next project, Artemis uh, 2 and Artemis 3, to see really uh, where uh, this Artemis um, project and mission is uh, going. And after that, she uh, is still so far scheduled to give a speech. We don't know if that speech uh, yet will be canceled or not. Uh, a speech uh, that uh, we were told was supposed to uh, really focus on U.S. leadership uh, in uh, this uh, space race, uh, really. Uh, she was supposed to focus on uh, U.S. prestige and uh, how uh, great uh, and uh, what this showed about the greatness of of uh, the United States and also about how much this uh, was something that was done uh, in partnership with allies around the world that were working on uh, this massive uh, project. And uh, so uh, her presence here was really uh, the mark of how important the Biden administration really saw uh, this launch. We don't know if the vice president will be back on Friday. Kate Van Gorgistani, we'll see what happens. But for now, thanks very much.